Experts offer advice on potentially fatal strain of Streptococcus. Companies to offer up to 5% pay increases and they look back at Macau's big boxing weekends. Good evening. The government has been advised. The government has been advised against offering a booster vaccination program against a potentially fatal strain of Streptococcus to all young children. Instead, it will subsidize one vaccine dose to children aged 2 to 5 years old. Jenny Lam reports. Many companies could be offering pay increases of up to 5% next year. That's according to a survey conducted by the Hong Kong General Chamber of Commerce. Here's Stephanie Choi. A move by China to impose an air defense identification zone in the East China Sea is drawing sharp criticism from other countries. The diplomatic protests from Japan, South Korea and the United States are also raising questions about the freedom of commercial air traffic in the disputed region. James Aiken has more. And to Thailand, where tens of thousands of people took to the streets again today, demanding that Prime Minister Yingluck Sinawat step down. The protesters are angered by claims that her government is being controlled by her older brother, ousted former Prime Minister Thaksin Sinawat. The crowd swarmed the finance and foreign ministry compounds in Bangkok and stormed into the buildings. The intrusions were some of several tense encounters on the day as demonstrators fanned out to 13 different locations around the city. Some of the protesters continue to occupy the government buildings. The Prime Minister said she will not order force to remove them. Now that Iran and six world powers have come to an interim agreement on curbing Tehran's nuclear program, the work begins on turning that into a comprehensive accord. U.S. President Barack Obama has phoned Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who's denounced the deal to try to address his skepticism. Alan Buknir reports. 42% of youngsters taking part in the primary one discretionary places admission scheme managed to secure a school place. That's the lowest in 16 years. Vicky Kung has that story. Police are still looking for a woman in connection with Saturday's suspected abduction. A six-month-old baby girl who disappeared in Kowloon City has still not been accounted for. Officers today returned to the area where the child went missing as part of their investigation. They also went to the family's home in San Po Kung and went through the building's surveillance camera footage. Police are searching for a woman between 40 and 50 years old. They say she speaks with a mainland accent. Photos of the missing baby have been sent to officers in new territories north near the border over concerns she may be taken to the mainland. And in sports, Filipino boxer Manny Pacquiao plans to visit typhoon-devastated Katak Loban in the coming days. Pacquiao dedicated his win over Brandon Rios in Macau yesterday to the victims and survivors. As for boxing, the fight proved Pacquiao is still among the best. And Macau is getting high marks too. Here's Jameson Wong. And a check of the weather before we go. Mainly fine and dry with a high temperature of about 21 degrees. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Good night.